Wait, isn't everybody at war over atheism? Atheism? No, we've learned to get rid of all the isms in our time. Yes, long ago we realized isms are great for those who are rational. But in the hands of irrational people, isms always lead to violence. Take 217, whenever I don't fuck up this intro. Hello everybody, this is the new episode of Tim's Two Cents. I believe this is episode 35. Um, it, not really very... Not, not like a huge number. This isn't like episode 100. I don't really have anything I can say about episode 35. I don't know if any podcast has had any episode where they've been like, this is the 35th episode and this is going to be a big party for us. But now yeah, it's going to be a party for me because I'm here in my apartment. I'm here by myself so I can scream about anything as loud as I want to. Uh, the Only the two people that listen to this will hear it. But uh, thank you guys for being there, I guess. Uh, I'm thinking about... I, I need a name for my fan group, and I'm thinking it's going to be called The Void. Um, you guys are denizens of The Void, so if you do listen, uh, thank you again for you denizens out there. Uh, I do appreciate you. I am Tim uh, Baker. I don't even know if I've said that full name on this show. If you are listening to this show... You're probably coming to me from the You Mean BTC podcast that I do weekly with Daniel Brown and Zach Vole. We do a live show every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you want to get to the latest episode or if on a Thursday night at 9 p.m. or 9.30, you can come late if you want to. Uh, you can always get to us at the ymb.tc slash live as long as there's a landing page. Um, Daniel is... Um, done with his marital bliss so now he's back to actually doing things for us there should be a new one for those every time uh and then like i said i also do that with zach vol zach has old episodes of a podcast he hasn't put anything out new recently because he's been doing a whole bunch of new shit but listen to those shows uh it's called the coin pod um zach instead of doing what i do which is just plug in my microphone and start just talking and see where things go zach actually goes out of his way and invites people onto his show, talks to them, thinks up good questions, and actually has people on that know a thing or two about certain things. So if you're actually interested in cryptocurrency stuff, again, check him out. Check him out at the um, the CoinPod show. You can get him on Twitter, at Zach Vol. Um, I guess I sh- should have said this before, but on uh, for the You Mean BTC podcast, you can get Daniel at You Mean BTC on Twitter, and um, both of those, the CoinPod and You Mean BTC, as you can tell from the names, are more circled around crypto, have more to do with uh, cryptocurrency. Although on the You Mean BTC show, we will sometimes talk about kind of our kind of thin uh, kind of uh, we. I I don't want to say philosophy because it's not really philosophy. It's more just us going, hey, I don't really think this is right, and you guys are dumb. Which isn't really philosophy, but it's what passes for it nowadays. Um, but most of the time it's sent around Bitcoin. Zach's show is specifically crypto. Um, all of his guests, they, they whether it's a, a Bitcoin improvement project that he personally has on, or just somebody talking about the Lightning Network, or somebody talking about whatever... Um, it's very focused on crypto stuff. And then our fourth episode, our fourth show on the network, they actually just put out a new episode is called unpopular opinions. That is normally with Ryan and Brian. I think Daniel, um, they've, I guess they've run out of things to talk about. So they've now brought Daniel on to ruin that show as well. Um, but they just put out a new one of that. It's called unpopular opinions. It's a video podcast. So you just get it on YouTube. Um, and that has nothing to do with crypto. They kind of just, go off of whatever they want to do. It's more similar to like what I'm doing, but you get to see their beautiful faces. I keep my amazing visage for just the Yumi and BTC podcast. Um, but then also for our live show, the Yumi and BTC show, uh, you can get on there. It's a live show. We have a chat, so you can kind of get involved in there. Uh, most of the time it's just communist bots that kind of pop in and start listing out this weird communist manifesto thing that's done mostly in emojis. I'm not really quite sure where they're going with that, but I do apologize. I'm having some issues breathing. I took some pre-workout like at this point three hours ago, and I still feel kind of like short of breath from it. I'm not really sure what was in there, but it has me pretty fucked up right now. Uh, It's also why I'm kind of like just 
while I'm talking. Uh, but we'll get through this. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you guys. My life has been decent enough uh, because I've finally gotten back on kind of hammering out stuff for myself. I'm not just sitting and watching a new Netflix episode or a new Netflix movie. I'm kind of... if if there There's things in my life that I want to do that I want to get better at and I'm getting back into, and I have been for the past three weeks, getting back into actually forcing myself to do that. Um, my full-time job is kind of winding down, so I have a little bit of extra time. I do outdoor stuff, and here in Pittsburgh, it's starting to get cold. Although, because it's Pittsburgh, we don't really have... A set weather it just, it go it can go from like thirty degrees to sixty in like two days so it's it's all over the place but so I do have a little bit more time so I'm trying to not just waste that time looking at my phone and uh, uh, looking at Netflix and I'm trying to actually get more writing done I'm um, doing this this podcast recording this a little bit earlier than I normally do so I'm a little bit more awake too but uh, I, I mean I don't know anything huge right now that's happening. I mean, Halloween just happened. Um, that was interesting, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, as far as being an adult, I, I have never... I've dressed up once for Halloween. It was when I was an adult. I was at a college. Uh, but since then, I haven't done it. I don't really... It, it. Nobody looks at me and goes, Oh, hey, what's your costume? I'm not that attractive. I don't get people just out... like. That doesn't work for me. I'm not hot enough for somebody to come up and be like, oh my god, your costume is so nice. Because that's what it is. That's what most of this shit is. None of this is like, oh, you're really creative. It's like, oh, you're hot. Let me tell you you're creative. So I don't get that. I don't I don't get treated like that. Um, for As far as Halloween when I was younger, I'm sure some of the pedophiles thought I was hot in my neighborhood. But I never went trick-or-treating. My parents were very much the... Uh, no, um, that's dangerous. There might be razor blades and methamphetamine in the candy, so you can't do that. And also, there just weren't really that many kids in my neighborhood, so it would have been us walking around to a bunch of Section 8 housing and going, hey, can you give me some candy? I know you don't even make your rental payments by yourself, and you require the government to also do that and take money from my parents to pay for your dumb lives. Uh, but eh, whatever. Uh, so I, I never got into Halloween um, I never got into the, oh, let's just dress up. It's going to be so much fun, and I'm not a hot chick, so I can't be like, oh, I just want to wear shitty, barely clothing and then feel good about myself. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I could be. <laughs> that That's one thought. I guess I could become trans, uh, or not become trans, but I could transition. And I, I don't know. I would make a decent, like, my facial structure is... I'd have to get I don't I don't I wouldn't even have to get my my chin shaved down. It's not like I even have that defined of a chin because again as I said, I'm not that attractive for a guy. I don't know it might work better as a girl. I'm not really sure right now. I do already kind of have tits. I was a fat kid and then when I decided to lose all that weight, I decided to do it by not eating and just drastically cutting my calories, which then just meant that I was left with a bunch of extra skin. So I do actually have a decent set of titties on me. So that might, I think I could save thousands of dollars on my transitioning, but I mean, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, also, I do want to finish this, uh, this last No Nut November. Uh, as a man, I don't really know if they even apply that to women. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a no come. There's no there's no month that starts with a, a C or something like that, but it doesn't work. Um, see this this is what happens when I take too much caffeine and whatever else was in this pre workout, and then my mind is just going through. It's like, oh wait, no, say something about transit. Eh, no, don't say that. No, that's weird, but eh, it'll work out. Um, as far as Halloween, I ba- yeah, I, I went out uh, last weekend, and then this past Wednesday, I went down in like downtown Pittsburgh because people are like, hey. Let's go have fun and get drunk. And I'm like, yeah, that that sounds like that's probably going to happen. And then it it doesn't. Um, nobody, <laughs> at least not from me. <laughs> I kind of ruin things because as soon as I get past that like second drink, also because whenever I do drink, I tend to get really drunk really quickly because I don't like the kind of halfway buzzed feeling. I kind of just feel out of it and weird. I start to just sit. I, I'm just quiet. I don't get louder until I'm like really drunk. So for the first 
like couple drinks. All I do is sit there and just like I like people watching as creepy as that sounds. I like just uh, what's this person doing? What is this person's life? You see somebody walk past and or you have a, a homeless man come up. I had this actually did happen this past week. Um, I had a homeless man walk up to me and he was mumbling something, something, something. And then he said, I just need a dollar seventy and a box of cigars. And I was like, well, I don't have that, sir. And I wasn't going to give you money anyway, but I really, I don't have a box of cigars. I'm sorry. Uh, so th- that's more what interests me whenever I go out drinking instead of like trying to talk to people uh, and get laid. It-, it becomes me just going, Oh, that must be an awful life. Let me think about that for the next two hours until like six drinks where then I just want to go to sleep. So there's no like energetic drunk Tim in there. There's no fun drunk Tim. It's either let me judge people or let me try to fall asleep on this bar counter and nothing in between there is ever any fun for anybody around me. It's never that attractive to anybody. It It's mostly just the... Like I, I just, I go from just basically just like a sullen, angry old man. That's what I'm like when I'm drunk. Uh, so most going out like that isn't that much. It's not really useful for me. It's never benefited me. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't help anybody else. No one else is like, yep, great. We we're glad we brought Tim this time. He's asleep again. Uh, so that was this past Halloween weekend. Everybody dresses up as whatever, some angel or, uh, Superman, or I saw a strange amount of people dressed up as trees and, uh, foods like, like dressed up as cartons of milk or, uh, like bags of chips. It's so I'm I'm not really sure where the country's going right now. Uh, that is actually a big thing that nobody shuts up about anymore is the elections that are coming up. Um, every single Twitter or Snapchat or I mean, those are the only two that I actually I mean, Reddit jumps on it a lot, too. But there's the elections are coming up, guys, and everybody needs to vote. Everybody needs to get out there and vote. We're going to take our democracy back and we're going to give the power back to the people by voting those bastards out. I'm like, you guys sound exactly like all the fucking boomer people did whenever they were talking about Obama (laughs) and the Democrats are like, yep, we're going to get rid of everybody. We're going to vote the bastards out, make everything good again, Um, because it's not make. America Great Again hadn't been picked up by then by the Republicans because it, it's just such a witty tagline. It's just so it so encapsulates the spirit of America um, that we didn't have it back then because it, it took it needed a genius such as Donald J. Trump to to think up a tagline like that. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Like if you're going to vote tomorrow, if you're listening to this. I feel like you're probably either not the person that votes or not the person who is capable of getting out of their house or not necessarily for physical reasons, more just emotional and mental reasons. Like you just cannot be outside your house before, I don't know, probably like 2 p.m. That That's being generous probably as well. Probably more something like 10 p.m. I feel like that's more my audience is this the people that kind of sit and they're just like, oh, the sun's out. Why is this? Oh, there's people. Oh, I like to drink my coffee at 8 p.m. at night, so then I'm up until 4. Why would I go out to Starbucks? Then? Uh, but everybody else apparently is telling everybody they're going to vote. Everybody else is going to go make a difference. Um, uh, Chelsea Handler? Is that a part? No. Who's the, the comic? Or the comedian? She's not really a comic. She's, there. Although nobody is. Nobody who has... A, a blue check mark next to their name is an actual comedian. They've, they've, they, I think I talked about it on this. I might have done it on You Me BTC, but once you get to that point, once you get to that point of success, there's no like actual pure art anymore. Uh, there's like, pro, I mean, I can't say my favorite song because I like most of what tools does if you don't know what tool is like uh they started back i think the late 80s i'm not quite sure but they were the first not the again i'm messing this all up but it's 
they're not metal, but it has more of the tendencies of metal put together with like an art rock. Uh, the lyrics are a little bit deeper than Metallica with the like that. It's a little bit deeper than that. Uh, but Tool has a song called uh, Hooker with a Penis where the it, basically the, the point of it is, is that it's like uh in the in the song there's a little story about how the 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 vocalist was someplace and a fan came up to him and told him that recently he thought they were selling out and they were sucking up to the man that i think that's a lyric uh and that they they weren't they didn't sound like how they used to and then the vocalist responds and the rest of the song is kind of just about whatever and he's like I I sold out from the very beginning. As soon as I was making a commercially, like as soon as I I made a commercial record with a record label and did all this, I already sold my soul. I already gave up on wanting to be a pure expressive art. Whenever I decided I need to make money with this, because it does kind of it it destroys stuff. It uh, as soon as you you give the money into something, as soon as that becomes the issue then you're not making a pure choice as to whatever it is. If it's music, uh, being a good musician, or if it's comedian being actually funny, it just becomes, well, I mean, what do I have to do to make a bunch of money? Chelsea Handler, whatever the fuck her name is, that's just, for her, it's just posing naked online now uh, to to get people to go, oh, you're amazing. Look at you standing up to Trump and standing up to those awful Republicans who are just destroying your life as a uh, high-profile, white, liberal American woman. Uh, they're just really making things terrible for you, and you really are out there just making a difference for all the disenfranchised people out there. You're really really making a difference by showing your saggy 70-year-old titties on, online. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, <laughs> everybody's doing that everybody's i this i artists in general tend to piss me off whether it's not piss me off but it's just i don't give a shit they're like oh well i uh i i don't like the fact that people don't say that you you have to be politically active and it's like Dude, you fucking play guitar. You what do what do you over here like I understand the deep problems that like you're a rich kid who had money like most artists regardless of genre are not low income people. Most artists are not people who have suffered terrible awful things in their lives because they have a fucking record deal. You don't get that by being talented. You get that by having connections with people. So any artist that makes something is not someone that has really, like, you can have whatever opinions you want. That's fine. What I have a problem with is whenever the people who want to act like you can't have certain opinions about things, you you can't speak about that because it's whatever. You don't have... You, you you don't have the necessary knowledge of that. You don't have all the background information. It's like, well, neither do you. What, are you. what are you talking about? You make shit for a living. You don't do any... You don't go out and work. You don't see what that's like. You don't see what... Inner, like, you don't understand what your inner interpersonal uh, conflicts are like in an office. You don't have to go at 6 a.m. in the morning to a coffee shop and sit... I'm, I'm not saying... None of those things are necessarily like something directly related to politics, but you're not experiencing a life like what other people are. I'm not saying I am, but I go out of my way to do that. I'm poor. And because of that, but like my job does not pay me that much, but it gives me the, because I own the business, it gives me the benefit of being able to work when I want to. So I can go to the gym at three o'clock instead of six, whenever every single other person is there, I can go get food at like 10 instead of noon. Whenever everybody else packs into Starbucks and starts shoveling food into their face, I specifically go out of my way to, to facilitate my life so that I can enjoy those benefits because it, one, I probably not as successful as I sh- as I could be if I worked harder. And also I kind of just like having that. I like being able to go, eh, I don't want to do something today. I'm just going to write and I'm, or I'm just going to go eat food or I'm going to go get drunk. I, I, I can do that, but I don't 
I, I I make a podcast. I do that, but I don't walk around and on Twitter tell people that. Oh well, you just don't understand the plight of the poor working man. <laughs> and I'm I'm so much closer to that than what any of these people are. And I've grown up in a circumstance that is so much closer to it than any of these people are. Who who go on as oh, well? We need to change things for the people below us we need to make this democracy a real thing again it's like you don't fucking know what you're talking about this didn't start with trump and it doesn't end as soon as you get your blue wave or whatever it is is the problem with anybody who takes politics seriously is an idiot and i will that is a blanket statement i've already made a couple blanket statements those those blanket statements before you don't have to take them as face value they're probably wrong this one, out of nothing else in this podcast could be true, this is true. Anybody who takes politics seriously, and by politics I mean the person that goes, we need to fix this and it's going to happen now. The person that thinks politics are actually the way to making a difference in the world is an idiot and is refusing to look at something that has happened in the past as, as like, th- their their frame of reference is from like two years ago. And I, I I don't mean that for Trump. I mean that for I mean people in 2015. The saying I had to listen to my dad. My dad is a he's a retard. I I fully admit that. And I come from I'm probably retarded as well. He's he he is Slavic trash. He's a mixture of whatever a bunch of different uh, eugenics programs by the Nazis and the Soviet Union over there to murder a bunch of people and only leave the dumbest left. He is that. And I had to listen. <laughs> I didn't have to, but. He, he just listening to to him talk about what was going to happen as soon as Obama was out of office and how all these communist things were ruined. I was like, yeah, no, you're right. He is communist, but so was Bush. And he's like, no, he wasn't. He was an amazing person. Uh, but it, it's the same thing where it's just this stupid idea that, oh, this was perfect before this one new guy got in there, before this one party got a got a majority in this, and it's like, nothing bad happens whenever there's one of these majorities. The only shitty stuff that ever happened, like, the shitty stuff happens when it's bipartisan. And they're like, yeah, no, it's just a vade Iraq. Yeah, why? Well, they have weapons of mass destruction. No, they don't. Well, yeah, they might have been somewhat related to uh, 9-11. No, that was the Saudis. Nah, shut up. We get a lot of money from them. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> that, like, the only time something bad happens is when they both, everybody agrees on it. Nothing gets railroaded through. Everybody loves everything. The fucking Obamacare wasn't the... Like, both people loved that. The insurance companies loved that. That wasn't just the liberals. Because, especially now, because you look at it, it hasn't gone away. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. That's how little attention I pay to this stuff. They could have dismantled... No, because I think my roommate takes it. My roommate gets that, and he... (laughs) He... (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm kind of making this thing. Uh, I'm I'm making the the audio recording spike a little bit. My roommate gets prescription drugs for something that probably isn't really an issue, but they're like, yeah, sure, have let, take some Xanax, whatever. He gets that, and then the the government he pays some like pittance amount for the prescription, and the government mails him a check back to get that because yeah, we're really making a difference in people's lives. We're getting them addicted to chemicals. This is great. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if you, if you just don't fucking go vote, I, I, I would encourage you to, if you do want to get up early in the morning, if you, for some reason, don't have a job that you need to go to, or even if you do have a job, go even earlier, go at like 7am or whenever the dumb things open and just yell at the people out the, out the windows, you're driving, you're like, you won't change anything fuckers or like quit trying to steal my money. They'll be so confused. It'll be enjoyable for you. It'll make your day better. Do something like that. Instead of going out and voting, why? Just just actually do something beneficial for your life. Go yell at some people who are dumb enough to vote. Go do some deadlifts, drink some coffee, get something done for your day, and you'll feel much better than just going out and voting. I don't know. That's my little tirade about that. Um, I don't know. Some new stuff. Uh, apparently, everybody was molested at the most recent Bitcoin conference. I don't know which one it was or convention, whatever it was. Um, I don't really even know the difference between what a conference or convention is anymore. I just know both of them cost like a couple thousand dollars to get a ticket, and then nothing really good ever comes out of them. 
uh, besides the one that we went to as Yumi and BTC and got all those great interviews, which you can get in the old episodes. Uh, there's probably back in like the hundreds, I would think. Um, but we did, or maybe even before that, but we did a bunch of interviews there with people, met a lot of people that I'd followed before on Twitter, read books from, hated most of them and still hate most of them. And kind of just, I, I just don't like people in general. So I try not to meet people anymore. Uh, it's not that I don't like people. It's, it's very easy for me to get disappointed with somebody. Uh, partly because it's my fault. Partly it's just people are shit. Uh, but Mostly, it, it it is my fault. I'll admit that because I I put too high of a standard on them, and then whenever I'm talking to them, I'm a nobody, and I'm not again. As I said before, I'm not even hot, so they're not going to pay attention to me. Uh, they're not going to want to fuck me. Jeffrey Tucker did not want to fuck me, so he was strange the whole interview. Um, but yeah, I mean, there there's your advice for this week: don't meet your heroes, burn your gods, do whatever, do whatever with that. Uh, but yeah, apparently everybody, or maybe a couple people, I don't really know, were, they were getting molested at the conference. Um, yeah, no, that, that uh, I could have told you that was going to happen because it's a bunch of uh, people that mostly interact online and stare at each other's profile pictures and more than likely jerk off to those profile pictures. Uh, jerk or Jill off, whatever, whatever your gender is, it doesn't really matter. You're probably masturbating to somebody online. Uh, and then you, you, so you've mostly just seen these people through their avies or avatar, whatever dumb name you want to give to that. And then you meet them in public and you go, Oh wow, I've jerked off to you so many times. It's not going to be weird if I talk to you and kind of follow you around because, Hey, I jerked off. I'm not jerking off in front of you. So how could this be wrong? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's people are are fucking trash that that's about it uh just because you like cryptocurrency just because you're conservative just because you're a liberal just because you're a libertarian just because you're whatever you're still most likely garbage that's that's really the only takeaway uh i i don't i've never liked any kind of this unity bullshit i can understand unity as far as like oh we're gonna work towards a, a central goal or, or a, not a central goal a uh a shared goal but then it, there's this unity thing where they go, yay, team, we're the best. You guys suck. Anybody who's not on our team sucks. And then something bad happens. And they go, wait, people on our team suck too? This is strange. I don't get what's happening right now. But everybody sucks. Just because you share an interest with somebody doesn't mean they're not a piece of shit. You are most likely a piece of shit. I don't, I don't think I'm the first person to tell you that I hope I'm not the first person to tell you that because if not, you've had people lying to you. Uh, but just like, and it's not that you or I or somebody else is necessarily a piece of shit, but as far as our perception as human beings, we can't really take ourselves out of our own heads. We can't take ourselves out of our own selfish wants, desires, whatever it is. So somebody who is not like, willingly going along with those desires or those goals or whatever it is we look oh this is an asshole this is a piece of shit and i mean for all intents and purposes that is true uh you you can't really argue against that you can go oh well no they're just looking at different incentives than you are blah it's like yeah sure that's a but as far as you and depending, this does depend on how much you believe and whatever it is that you guys are arguing about or whatever you different differ over but to you, if it is important enough, that person is going to look like a piece of shit to varying levels, uh, depending on how important it is to you. Um, if it's if it's pineapple on pizza versus, I feel like I've used this example before, but if it's you're arguing about pineapple being on pizza with somebody, you might, oh, this is a piece of garbage. They eat pineapple on their pizza. Or if they're like, well, I voted for Trump. Then you're like, you're a fucking Nazi. Or I voted for Obama. You're a fucking communist. It's, it's a bigger, it's a bigger divide than depending on how emotionally invested you are in it. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't depend on other people to do anything for you. Really? Um, it, that's like, <sighs> It's just like people were like, oh, we deserve to have safety around other people. It's like, not really. People should be good. 
I'll go with that. I'll I'll give everybody that. I'll say that we probably should be good. It probably would work out better for the. I, I, as far as should be, I'm I'm probably I'm I'm coming at this from a utilitarian perspective right now. But it's like if we all work together and we're nice to each other and weren't assholes to everybody, the world would probably be a better place. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> Ever. It doesn't matter however much we think, oh, well, now we know science and we know that God didn't make the world. We know that it just blew into existence. That means that we don't have to hate each other anymore. Yay, no more wars. And it's like, yeah, okay, that's really worked out. Like, no, but people still believe in God now. So that's why people, it's like, not really. People just like getting things in the, a lot of times, the quickest way to get something is to take it from somebody else. It's a lot easier to just steal something that somebody else has built than to build it yourself. And that's fine. That's exactly what animals do. And like, animals are assholes to each other. If you, you, animals steal, like, I don't know, whatever, like wolves track down a deer, just uh, do all this work. They put all this fucking, all these calories in, into tracking down this deer running it down, pulling it down, they're eating it, and then a bear comes along, smacks him around a couple times, he's a couple thousand pounds heavier than they are, and then it's his. The The wolves don't get a convention together, the wolves don't go, we need to vote the bear out of power. The The wolves go, fuck, we have to go get another deer now, or we have to murder this bear. And that's the decision you have to make every single day. If somebody takes your parking space, and you go, well, I either need to go get a parking space, or I need to murder this person and destroy their car, and most of the time you should probably just get another parking space. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but that's, that's just what, how it is. Um, there's, there is no, Oh, well we, we should just be nice. Why? Well, we should just be more like how animals are with each other. Oh, really? Well, they murder each other and eat each other's young and sometimes their own young. So I don't know if they're the best basis to be running your moral code off of. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Hope you guys have a good week. I <laughs> hope uh after that I hope you guys don't murder somebody and go to prison. If you do though, tweet at me at Baker's Dozen ninety three. Tell me fuck you, Tim, you got me sent to jail or prison, whatever it is. If you pr- I think yeah, prison. If you murder somebody, you're probably gonna end up going to prison. You go to jail first, but then you can if you can find some time in between crying and saying goodbye to your loved ones definitely tweet at me let me know how the episode was let me know if it really affected your life that much that you went no fuck it i'm gonna kill this guy um i would appreciate that and make me feel kind of good it make me give me a little power boner a little bit if i could real if like if people told me i was literally ruining their lives with bad advice that would really make me feel good so if you want to tweet me there um, again, check out the You Mean BTC show again live every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, keep listening. Um, I don't know. There's, there's big things to come, folks. There's big, huge things to come. But again, have a good week. Don't vote and have a have a good day. Invest, invest in yourself. Don't invest in the future. Invest in the future of yourself. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Love you.